the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends in Christ, in today's reflection, I would like to remind us about the importance of the Holy Rosary. The Rosary is a powerful weapon given to us by our Blessed Mother Mary. In praying the Rosary, the Blessed Virgin Mary helps us through her intercession to combat evil, heal sicknesses and addictions, helps us in our spiritual growth, and brings us closer to Jesus Christ. When we pray the Rosary, we meditate on the mysteries of birth, life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. In this reflection, I will share my experience of the miracle of the Holy Rosary. There was a pilgrimage center where people gathered to pray. Pilgrims from far and wide visit the place. People who suffer sicknesses, both physically and mentally, are brought to this center for prayers. People also come to pray for their own individual and family problems. Counseling services are also available at the center for those who might need them. Some sick people stay in the pilgrimage center until they are healed of their sicknesses. There are testimonies of people who received healing at the center. There was a certain young man who had a serious mental sickness. He was so aggressive that he had to be restrained most of the time. People stayed away from him for fear of his aggressive nature. <clears throat> One day, I was passing by at the center. The man called me, sister, sister. By then, I had not entered the religious life, but I realized he was referring to me, and I turned, pointing at my neck. He said to me, sister, please, could you give me your rosary? I was surprised because I knew that my clothing covered my rosary and it would be impossible for him to have seen it. I asked him, which rosary are you referring to? He pointed at my neck again. I touched my neck to check if he could indeed see my rosary. When I realized that he could not see the rosary because it was under my clothing, I asked him again, which rosary are you referring to? He pointed once more at my neck and said, that black rosary. I became afraid and was surprised. I wondered how he knew that I was wearing a black rosary. I realized that there was more to it, that it was really extraordinary. I asked him on impulse if he would be healed if I gave him the rosary. He answered yes with confidence. I slowly brought out the rosary and gave it to him and left. I attended morning mass the next day and during the prayer of the faithful, familiar boys started reading out one of the prayers and I turned to take a look to my bewilderment. It was the man I gave my rosary the day before. I was astonished to see him and that he was no longer in chains. He appeared to have been healed the moment he received the rosary. I marveled all through the mass. After the mass, I ran after him. I spoke with him. He told me about himself and narrated that he wanted to become a priest but abandoned his seminary studies and relocated to Lagos, one of Nigeria's busiest cities. Eventually, he became mentally ill, and his friends and relatives took him to a pilgrimage center for healing. I believe that God used the rosary to heal the man. The rosary is a powerful weapon. Start praying the rosary constantly, and you will experience the miracle of God in your life. Through the intercession of our Blessed Mother Mary, try praying the rosary, and you will never regret it. Let us pray. Lord, teach us how to know you. Lord, teach us how to serve you. Lord, teach us how to love you and to leave you with you forever.
Amen.